using Venn diagram to solve problems. Okay, so let's just set up our Venn diagram. We've got singers and dancers, and we have 100 people in total. So we've got some singers, we've got some dancers, we've got some people that can sing and dance, and we've got 100 people in total. The 34 people cannot sing or dance. Let's put the singers there and dancers here. So 34 people are outside the singers and dancers. That leaves us with 100 minus 34, which is 66 people, to go inside our Venn diagram. We are told that 46 people can sing and 50 people can dance. That makes 96 people. So that's too many people. We've only got 66 people in this diagram. So the overlap, how much you have to add to that to get to this, must be the bit that can do both. So we've got 30 people that can both sing and dance. Once we have that, then we work backwards. We've got 46 people can sing. So there's 30 in the middle there. So the singers are including those 30. So there's 16 that can only sing. 50 people can dance. So we've got 20 that only dance and 30 that sing and dance. So how many people can sing but not dance? So sing in the sings but not in the dance is this section here. Let's just use a different color. There's this section here the singers but not dancers and that's 16 full marks